Countries around the world will mark the inaugural International Day to End Obstetric Fistula on the 23rd of May in an effort to raise support and awareness of a devastating injury that can occur during childbirth. A prolonged obstructed labor can lead to a hole or fistula in the birth canal causing a leaking of urine or feces. This was the case of 16-year-old Esetia Mulhanga of Mozambique. I had to deliver at home. My husband was not at home to help me. After delivering, this problem of being incapable to control my urine started. Because of the smell, the woman is perceived as unclean and frequently shunned by her community. It is estimated that two to three million women and girls in the developing world still suffer from fistula. And more than 50,000 new cases develop each year. While a fistula may be repaired with an operation, Dr. Babatunde Oshotemihin, executive director of the United Nations Population Fund, hopes that this day will soon no longer be needed. UNFPA would like each individual that is listening to this message or that is going to participate in the first day of the of, of International Day of Fistula to commit him or herself to contributing to ending fistula in their communities. If we do so, we can ensure that each pregnant woman gets adequate care and adequate attention when she needs it. And, and that's all we, we need to end fistulas. For UNFPA, this is Omar Khazraoui.